Hello and welcome back to Megzone. Today we shall be starting with a new subject that is material science. And in material science, the first topic that we have to study is the iron carbon diagram. As we all know that iron carbon diagram is a very important topic. And however, not very heavy questions are asked from this section, but still this section holds an importance in material science and definitely needs to be studied with the depth concepts and very good approach. So in this lecture, we shall be studying about this iron carbon diagram and I will be explaining to you all the different reactions and the different compositions which are occurring at various elevated temperatures when carbon is added to iron. Okay, so before starting this lecture, I would simply like to request you that if you have not subscribed to our channel, kindly do so, so that you can uh, access. So, uh, our channel pop subscribe kar lije, kyunki ye ek lotha channel hai YouTube pe, jahan you are getting all the quality video lectures for complete mechanical engineering syllabus along with free study material. You can download the study material from the description section of every video. And it is available absolutely for free sari books PDF format mein aur sara study material handwritten notes ho gaye, short trick notes bhi ho gaye, wo bhi sara is uh, video ke saath sab kuch available hai. So let us start with the first thing that as we all know that steel is a very highly uh, used uh, commercially available material which is uh, widely used in the industry in the various construction processes and in the automobiles also. So why steel is used? It is because it has high tensile strength and it has low cost and hence it is being widely used. It is also used in areas like cutting tools also. So first we will discuss what actually information is given by the iron carbon diagram. The first point is it gives us the information about the mechanical properties which are achieved by iron at different temperatures and different carbon percentage. That means if we are varying the temperature and we are varying the carbon percentage in the uh, iron then what are the mechanical properties corresponding to that temperature and that carbon percentage will be studied or will be indicated by this iron carbon diagram now the structure of iron at elevated temperatures as we all know the iron exists in two different structures that is fcc phase centered cubic and bcc that is body centered cubic so which phase or which uh, structural uh, identity will be obtained at elevated temperatures will also be indicated by the iron carbon diagram. Now the next is the various reactions which are taking place at the elevated temperatures with different carbon percentages are also indicated by the iron carbon diagram. Now this is how the iron carbon diagram looks like actually I have not drawn the complete diagram step by step I, we shall be drawing it. So this origin simply represents the pure iron which is at room temperature so this point represents pure iron at room temperature it is not representing zero degree centigrade it is simply representing that iron does not have any percentage of carbon and it is lying at the origin okay now if from the room temperature we are increasing the temperature of the iron <coughs> okay we are increasing the temperature of the pure iron such that we reach up to 724 degree now at 724 degree the phase of iron that will be obtained is alpha ferrite it is known as the alpha ferrite and it has bcc structure okay so uh, we are having the alpha ferrite as bcc structure so if we are considering a sample of 100 gram that uh, any indication on the x axis would simply tell us about the mass of carbon present in that 100 gram sample. For example, if we are having a 100 gram sample and here this point 2.1 simply represents that out of those 100 grams 2.1 percent that is 2.1 gram is carbon and the rest would be iron. So what we are doing here? here is we are simply increasing the temperature of the iron and we are reaching up to 724 degrees and at 724 degrees the state or the phase of iron that is obtained is called as the alpha ferrite having the bcc structure okay now this 767 degree is called as the curie temperature why it is called as the curie temperature because this temperature was reported by marie curie and she won the Nobel Prize both in chemistry as well as in physics. 
and her daughter also received the nobel prize and uh, let me tell you the entire family of marie curie received the nobel prize in some or the other field so it it was observed that when the iron was heated up to 767 degree it loses its magnetic property and this temperature is called as the curie temperature okay this is called as the curie temperature now if we are heating the iron above 767 degrees that is we reach up to 910 degree then the phase of iron which is obtained is gamma iron or it is called as austenite and this is having the face centered cubic structure okay and this face centered cubic structure austenite phase will be obtained up to 1147 डिग्रीज ओके अप टू इलेवन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी सेवन डिग्रीज तक हमें ये ऑप्टेन होगा ओके एंड अब इलेवन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी सेवन डिग्री अब इलेवन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी सेवन डिग्री वी आर ऑप्टेनिंग द फेज ऑफ आयरन विच इज नोन एज द डेल्टा आयरन और इट इज डेल्टा फेराइड एंड अगेन इट इज हैविंग द बी सी सी स्ट्रक्चर सो वी सॉ दैट अल्फा फेराइड हैड द बी सी सी स्ट्रक्चर देन gamma iron had the fcc structure and again delta iron is also having the bcc structure and this phase of iron that is the delta iron or the delta ferrite phase is existing up to 1539 degrees centigrade okay this is existing up to 1539 degree centigrade so now what we have done is we have drawn a curve like this such that this curve is dropping up to a point of 4.1% carbon on the x axis we are having the percentage of carbon on the y axis we are having the temperature so this curve is coming up to say a temperature of 1147 degree centigrade and up to 4.1% of carbon so it simply means that if we are increasing the percentage of carbon up to 4.1% the temperature or the melting point is actually decreasing okay up to 4.1% the melting point is decreased but if we carefully observe after 4.1% it will increase the melting point will increase and above this curve we are having just the liquid phase of the iron that means the iron will exist in the liquid form or in the molten form okay so up to 4.1% uh, of carbon the melting point is decreased but after 4.1% that means after 4.1% of carbon if we are adding then it will increase the melting point and the melting point which is corresponding to 4.1% of carbon is nearly about 1149 degree centigrade or 1150 degree centigrade okay now what we have done is we have completed this curve such that ye abhi to upar wala line tha ab humne niche bhi iska ek aisa yahan par shape bana diya okay और यहां पर कंप्लीट करने के बाद द आयरन विच इज ऑप्टेन इन दिस लिटिल ये जो छोटा सा एरिया लिटिल एरिया है यहां पर द आयरन विच इज बीइंग ऑप्टेन इज डेल्टा फेराइट ओके एंड डेल्टा फेराइट आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इट हैड बीसीसी स्ट्रक्चर एंड दिस डेल्टा फेराइट इज एक्चुअली इन द सॉलिड फॉर्म दिस इज एक्सिस्टिंग इन द सॉलिड फॉर्म वेर एज दिस रीजन इज इंडिकेटिंग अ मिक्सचर ऑफ गामा आयरन दैट इज ऑस्टेनाइट इन द सॉलिड फॉर्म and plus some liquid iron so this region is actually indicating the iron existing in two different states that is the solid state as well as the liquid state okay and we have drawn two lines corresponding to 2.1% of carbon and 4.1% of carbon okay now what we have done is we have joined the lines from here up to a temperature less than 767 degree centigrade and then we have joined the line here and this line is being joined to 910 degree centigrade such that the region between this a or this area is actually representing the gamma iron or the austenite okay gamma iron or the austenite that means if we are adding carbon up to 0.8% then we are getting this area which is known as the gamma iron or austenite and up to 2.1% we will obtain स्टील मतलब यहां तक अगर हम कार्बन ऐड करते हैं तो आयरन विल बिकम स्टील एंड आफ्टर 2.1 परसेंट वी विल ऑप्टेन कास्ट आयरन ओके सो दिस रीजन इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द गामा आयरन और ऑस्टेनाइट दिस स्मॉल रीजन इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द डेल्टा फेराइड व्हिच इज सॉलिड 
this region is representing two phases of iron that is the solid phase and the liquid phase the solid phase is of the gamma iron or the austenite whereas the region above this curve is actually forming a liquid portion now this region or this area which is obtained between this portion it will also consist of two phases of iron that is gamma austenite and cementite cementite is fe3c or it is also called as ledeburite okay so this region above the curie temperature and below this line is actually composed of two phases that is the gamma iron gamma austenite and cementite that is ledeburite and it is called as fe3c and the region which is lying between these two lines is called as alpha ferrite plus the cementite portion and alpha ferrite plus cementite is called as the perlite okay so ye combination jo ho gaya hamara this is called as perlite and when the carbon percentage is up to 2.1% and it is being added to iron then the resultant product is called as the steel and if more than 2% of carbon is added up to 6.67 then we are obtaining cast iron so steel is any uh, we can define steel uh, as when the carbon percentage in iron is less than equal to 2.1% then it forms a steel and above 2.1% we are obtaining the cast iron and these are the different phases that i have already told you okay now if the percentage of steel oh sorry if the percentage of carbon is less than or equal to 0.8% then it is called as the hypoeutectoid steel okay it is called as the hypoeutectoid steel and if the carbon percentage is between 0.8 to 2.1% then it is called as the hyperuetectoid steel okay so hyperuetectoid steel is containing carbon between 0.8 to 2.1% now between 2.1% to 4.1% we are actually obtaining hypoeutectic cast iron okay we are obtaining the hypoeutectic cast iron and between 4.1% to 6.67% we are obtaining the hyperuetectic cast iron so hyperuetectic cast iron is containing carbon from 4.1% to 6.67% whereas a hypoeutectic cast iron is containing carbon percentage varying from 2.1 to 4.1% okay and uh, hypoeutectoid steel is containing carbon between 0% to 0.8% whereas hyperuetectoid steel is containing carbon between 0.8 to 2.1% now we have the different points or the different uh, temperatures this point is called as the peritectic point and this point is called as the eutectic point so this is peritectic point this is eutectic point and i have already told you about the hypoeutectoid steel hyperuetectoid steel hypoeutectic cast iron and hyperuetectic cast iron and this point is called as the eutectoid point so we have three points peritectic eutectic and eutectoid points okay so based upon the percentage of carbon the steels can also be classified as low carbon steel medium carbon steel and high carbon steel low carbon steel means carbon percentage is up to 0.25% medium carbon steels carbon percentage from 0.25 to 0.8 and high carbon steels above 0.8 and up to 0.1.7 now practically steel up to 1.7% carbon is sufficient for the required mechanical properties and we are not adding carbon after 1.7% there is no need to add more carbon after 1.7% and similarly in case of the cast iron up to 4.1% carbon is having all the required mechanical properties and we are not adding carbon after 4.1% in case of the cast iron now we will define the three points corresponding to the reaction that is first is the peritectic point and this was the peritectic point and corresponding to the peritectic point when uh, the liquid was cooled when a solid uh, sorry when a liquid and a solid was cooled up to 1495 degree centigrade the resultant product becomes a solid so we are actually obtaining a solid that was called as the gamma austenite okay it was called as the gamma or austenite 
so at peritectic point we are having liquid plus solid is actually becoming a solid upon cooling and uh, it is producing a complete solid phase now we come to the eutectic reaction and eutectic reaction simply implies that when 4.1 percent containing carbon liquid is cooled then two solid states of iron are obtained and the two solid states were gamma austenite and the cementite that is fe3c so a liquid upon cooling becomes two solid phases and the first solid phase is gamma austenite and the other one is cementite that is fe3c and the last reaction was the eutectoid reaction and eutectoid reaction was corresponding when 0.8 percent carbon containing iron is cooled that means the iron was already in the solid state and the resulting product is a mixture of two different solids that a solid upon uh, cooling the again forms two solids and the first solid is alpha ferrite and the next solid is cementite that is fe3c so with this we come to the end of this lecture i hope that the information given in this lecture is uh, very good and is catering to your needs and we hope that we are living up to your expectations because megzone try to provide the best study material ever available on youtube for complete mechanical engineering subjects with all lectures having a very good quality along with the quality study material that too absolutely for free you do not have to pay even a single penny for anything on this channel so with this we come to the end i hope that you people will give us your valuable feedbacks you can give us your feedbacks on our youtube channel or on our facebook page and you can also share your doubts any way you like and we definitely try to respond within 48 hours so in the next lecture we shall be starting with the different heat treatment processes and their importance in the manufacturing sector so thank you so much for today